Suppose the production function x, which is uh, the function of capital and labor, it is given as uh, say 20L plus 40K minus 2L square minus 3K square. Suppose uh, this is the function which you have and uh, and uh, the price vector, the output and input price vector is given by as price of output x, wages and rental rate. So price of output x is, uh, is say given as 1, wages are, are say 8 and rental rate of capital is 10. Suppose if this is the case then you need to find out what is the equilibrium output so what is the how do you write the profit function profit function is px into x which is the total revenue minus cost cost is given as wl plus rk which is 8l plus 10k so you have 1 and 2. In, in place of x, what will you write? You'll write this production function, which is 20L plus 40K minus 2L square minus 3K square minus this cost function, which you have 8L plus 10K. You have this. So what you have is basically 20L plus 40K minus 2L square minus 3K square minus 8L minus 10K. So what you have is basically minus 20L minus 2L square plus 12L minus 3K square plus 30K. This is the profit function which you have. Now, the first order conditions, they are going to define the critical points. And for this, you'll find out two partial derivatives, one with respect to K, another with respect to L. So with respect to L, you will have minus 4L plus 12 equal to zero. This is one. And then you have what you have del pi by del K which is equal to minus 6k plus 30 equal to 0. Well, this would imply L is equal to 3 and this would imply k equals to 5. Okay, so now you need to find out whether these points, that is your L star, k star, equals to 3, 5, they actually define the profit maximizing level of output or not. For this, you'll, you will check the second order conditions. For second order condition, you will calculate the, the Hessian matrix, which is given by F11, F12, F21, F22. So you'll have to calculate this Hessian matrix, F11, F12, F21, F22. So let me write uh, the, the two first order conditions again, which you have, which is del pi by del L is minus 4L plus 12, minus 4L plus 12. This, let me write this as FL and FK as, I guess, minus 6K plus 30. This is what you have, which is minus 6K plus 30. So FLL is minus 4. FLK is 0 from here. FKK is minus 6 and FKL is 0 as you could see here. So you will just substitute these values here which is minus 4, 0, 0, minus 6 I guess. Yeah, minus 6. So this is the Hessian matrix you have. So you will calculate the principal minus. So H1 is minus 4, which is negative. H2 is the determinant of minus 4, 0, 
0 minus 6 which is equal to 24 which is positive so in case if your h1 is negative and h2 is positive then the point which you have calculated is indeed the point of maxima so even second order conditions are satisfied